Saludos and welcome to another episode of Saucy Sunday. We just came back from doing our little compra, so I was like, let me do my Saucy Sunday before I get totally comfy on the couch. Today's sauce is something that's new to me. I've never tried it, but it looks like something I would like. So I want to taste it, feel it out, see if it's good, and then make it again. It's called Tum, um, and it uses a lot of garlic. I also wanted to do this because I have so much garlic that I can never get through. And this recipe calls for so much garlic. So I'm like, let's see what garlic is still edible and use it all up so I can buy some new fresh garlic. If this is your first time here, I come to your screen every Sunday with a brand new saucy something that you can put in your rotation for your meals for the week. Thank you to everyone that's been watching, sending recommendations and leaving comments. I really, really appreciate that. It keeps me going. The Saucy Sundays that are upcoming are recommended by folks that have been watching the videos. So thank you for your recommendations. I can't wait to share them with the rest of everyone else. And for folks that also wanted some nutritional information, I'll talk a little bit. This one is not good. I'm telling you right now, I'm just not even gonna open it. I'm gonna throw that out. Um, <laughs> For folks that wanted some nutritional information, I'm going to talk a little bit about the benefits of garlic that have been proven by science. Um, how do we feel about this? Not good. The reason I'm like picky is because one, we don't want to be eating stuff that's bad, but two, the 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 recipe, the garlic is going to be raw. So I think this head is my most recent purchase. So let's hope that they're all good. And if not. I also, I also took the pilon to make it easier for me to open all this garlic, but I must have left it somewhere. Like, look at all this garlic that I have. I just don't run through it as much as I used to. I don't know what's, what's the deal with that. I don't know what's the deal with that. I cook, but I guess I just don't use enough garlic. Or the garlic here is just so big that I don't use it. I don't know. So... I want fresh garlic, but I don't want to waste this garlic. So I'm just going to use as much as I can from here and then make the recipe. This recipe is another quick one. So we shouldn't be here too long uh, because all we really have to do is clean all this garlic off and put it in a food processor, get a nice emulsion going. An emulsion is basically when an oil let me actually find the definition. Emulsion is when two liquids mix together that are not supposed to be besties. In this case, the liquid is gonna be the uh, lemon juice and the oil. We're using a neutral flavoring oil because we don't want the taste to take away from the garlic. Um, I have avocado oil in here. I've been reusing this bottle for quite some time. So let's peel all this garlic and see what we find. Look, look at this. This is dry ass garlic. I'm glad we're taking time to do this together because honestly, I wouldn't have. I just would have ignored the pile. But these all feel pretty good. So I'm glad to use them. Let's keep this one on the maybe. My hands are gonna stink, but in a good way. Garlic is one of these really cool plants that has a lot of anti-properties like antibacterial, anti-fungal, anti-carcinogenic, anti-hypertensive, anti-anti-anti. Basically, it does a really good job of getting things in order. That's why if you grew up in a Caribbean household or I'm sure in many other households where they do lots of remedios, you'll find garlic in there because it's just such a powerful, powerful plant that the whole bulb can be eaten. You can also eat the you can also eat the stem that grows from garlic. It has like a garlicky flavor. It looks like um, scallions or green onions. And it's also really tasty and good. So this recipe calls for a cup of garlic, but there's different I've never seen a garlic that color. And, and don't judge, don't judge me, okay? If you're seeing me and being like, why she got this old ass garlic? Things happen, okay? People get, um, what's that thing called? 
Object permanence, you just forget things exist. Also depression, I've been going through it. This, uh, my, I got a new therapist and she was talking to me about, like I was talking to her about all the things that I haven't done that I enjoy. And I was like, and when I looked at the list of all of those things, um, I was like, damn, my depression really had me in chokehold. And she was like, wait a second, wait a second. It's not just your depression. Uh, let's not give it that much credit because you also did a really big life altering thing of picking up everything that you know and moving to a whole new state and then also being totally like alone. All I have is my husband and then the few friends that I have made and am making in this town. But you really need to chill out with the blaming of just the depression because it's not just that. And I was like, thank you for that because you're right. We did something that so many people might not ever get to do in their life, want to do, could do, can do, and we freaking did it. And I think it took me a really long time to process my body to process what happened. My body went through a lot of changes because of that big old move. So I was like, you're right. I can't blame it all on her. So yes, if my garlic looks a little crazy, we're not going to judge in this house. Okay. Okay. So I don't think we're going to get a cup of garlic, which is fine. I'm just going to try to get as much as we can to put in the food processor to then make the dip, the sauce. I'm like doing this with my fingers, bro. You know how strong I am that I'm doing it like this? So strong. Freaking so strong. Like, ah, uh, love it. I'm strong. I'm pairing this with some chicken thighs that we got from H-E-B. And I'm going to put on a little pita and a little sliced tomatoes. And I'm going to have like a little little pita situation to eat this with. And I cannot wait because honestly, I'm starving. <laughs> I don't think I remember the last time I ate. It's been a while. It's like I'm opening a candy. Like you never know what's going to be in there. Like those chocolates, remember those chocolates that they had to ban in America because <laughs> it became a, a choking hazard? <laughs> Please tell me you know what I'm talking about. But it's giving, it's giving Wonder Ball. You just never know what you're going to get when you open it up. This one's not too good. This one's been staring at me for a while. I think that this, I've, again, I've never tasted it before, but it looks like great. It looks like mayo if mayo was made out of garlic from what I've seen online. I'm like looking at the chicken that's cooking on the sidelines. <laughs> so I don't burn it. And all of these scraps that I'm collecting, theoretically, you could save them um, and make like a nice stock. That would be really nice. But I already have my bag pretty full for my stock. Maybe I'll save some. Maybe I'll save some to make a nice veggie or fish stock. I made this fish stock the other day. Whew, it was so good. It was really good and I used it in a few things uh, until it went away. I did forget to freeze some of it though. I did forget to freeze some of it. We've been peeling garlic for how long already? I think to speed this up I would buy the peeled garlic or you know don't spend this time with your loved ones making this or getting the garlic ready for this because literally right after this is done super fast super fast situation if you've had this before let me know what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right I'm very excited to taste it and I'm very excited to eat <laughs> I also have some mac and cheese going in the oven that we picked up from Sam's Club. Oh, okay. So, well, okay. We got all the garlic. I'm going to save that story time for a second. We got all the garlic. I'm going to keep these on the side because they're like very yellowy. But these are pretty okay. 
they're pretty okay. I'm just gonna chop off all the like bits and bobs that I don't want to keep. We're getting probably half a cup. The recipe that I'm following calls for a cup. Unfortunately, we're just not getting a cup. We're just not getting a cup and we're gonna be okay with that because you know what? We meet ourselves where we're at. We meet ourselves where we're at. So we got about half a cup. Let's go put it in the food processor. Welcome to the other side of my counter. <laughs> so we're gonna start off by pulsing the garlic. Don't worry, I'm gonna turn the sound off so you don't have to hear this. Oops, I'm missing this piece. Safety. Nice and chopped. We're gonna scrape the sides. If you have a mini food processor, that would be great. When I was reading up on how to make this, uh, the, oops, the, oops. Oh no, get let go of my, got a grip over there. The, the uh, blogger, the food blogger I was reading suggested not using an immersion blender because you won't get a good enough emulsion. Okay, let's pop this back in. Basically, we're just gonna do this, and I'm gonna learn. We're just gonna do this over and over again until we get like a little paste, and then we're gonna add um, some of the lemon juice, and then drip by drip, the olive oil. I just found all this garlic. Please hold. I think with this, we'll have a cup. So let's add that in. A little bit of salt. Pulse. Bullet just to chop this part. Because I feel like it's not, I feel like my bowl is too big. No? This is what it's looking like now. But I don't think the blade is like touching it anymore. Going to, oh my God. Same thing is happening. Ain't no way that this is happening to me right now. This is what we're working with right now. Looking kind of there. This is what I'm seeing, like if it's blending or not, kind of. I'm gonna scrape it. Now that I can see inside, we're getting pretty close. It's like looking kind of creamy, how it should look. It's like close, it's definitely close, but it's not like smooth like mayo, you know? That's what I was kind of going for. Because I'm just in here right now, let's just give it a quick taste to see what it's all about. So this is what she's giving. It's giving needs more, <laughs> but let's see. That garlic is garlicking. Wow, that is awakening. I love it. Let's set it up on the dinner. Let's recreate what I was picturing in my head when I thought of trying this. I'm gonna smear like a teaspoon and a half of the tomb. It definitely should be a lot creamier. I'm just gonna say that for sure. I know that. Um, I'm definitely gonna watch more videos to see how it's made properly. I'm adding some HEB Casteros chicken thighs, ground chicken thighs, and some sliced tomatoes. Doesn't that look so pretty? But literally, it doesn't look so pretty. Okay, let's give it a freaking bite and see what it's giving. I feel like just a little bit more. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm overdoing it. I'm overdoing it, but okay. Let's give it a bite and see what the vibe is like. Mm-hmm, y'all. Make this. Let me get my husband to taste it. He's playing NCAA, so he can't. He's busy coaching. One more bite, and then I'm going to let you go because I want you to give this recipe a try. 
I want you to enjoy it. And I want you to let me know what other things you want me to make because I'm happy to make things for you. But, you know, I got my list too. Before you go, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the other Saucy Sunday videos that I've made so far this week. We got a good library going and I can't wait to keep it going all summer long. Love you. Bye.